it's Minna Person here, and I am back with a little vlog video. Uh, anybody who's been following my socials knows I just got back from two conventions, essentially in a row, and it's the craziest kind of month I've had in July. So I just wanted to do a little vlog about the first convention I got to visit, visit which is... MagWest, which was absolutely fun. It was wonderful. It was such a great time. Um, I'm gonna do my usual kind of breakdown of how the whole convention went and how it was. It was my first time judging a cosplay competition, uh, which was really, really exciting for me because it's one of those things that I really like was working towards, like a goal. It was one of those things that was a goal to eventually do cosplay competitions my whole life and then slowly work into being a judge for cosplay competitions for performance and doing the things that I love and I was so excited that I was picked up by the convention where they reached out to me and asked me to be a guest to be a judge for the cosplay competition which is a first which was crazy that I didn't even put in any kind of application or email them they just reached out to me so it was it was a, a wonderful experience so let's break it down to how it was. So day zero on the airport was pretty smooth. We literally got on the airport early morning. It was me, Subaru, and Ian. We all got on the airport. We made it over there pretty easy. The flight wasn't even full. And we just got, you know, bagels and made our way over, got our hotel. Everything was actually really easy day zero. So we didn't have anything to do. So we just, you know, went over, ate, and rested for most of the day. Day one. So day one was pretty easy. Uh, I wore Ariel that day. It was mostly a day of exploring and wandering. There wasn't a lot that they had for us to do on day one. Everything was essentially going to be on day two. So me, uh, Subaru, and Ian, and Ellie, uh, who came down to visit and stayed with us, uh, we were all just kind of wandering around and enjoying the convention and checking things out and checking out the marketplace. Uh, it was like their, for, I think it was, they said it was their first time having a marketplace, like a dealer's hall. And so I was really excited and it really, really was nice, but um, I can't wait to see it grow because it, it was, they could have fit more vendors, like they could have had more artists. Um, so it, it felt like a very small art alley, but it was really nice, like it was really nicely put together. So I'm excited to see the growth come from that. Uh, but day one was pretty simple. We just kind of wandered around and, you know, hung out with each other and we ate and we, um, the, the, the hotel breakfast was really expensive, but, um, we just kind of door dashed for the rest of the weekend, honestly, and we just kind of hung out with each other. Day two. So day two was a little more serious. It was the day for judging and competition. Um, we were in the back corner of the hotel area. Uh, it was an open space where the contestants would sign up and they would come talk to us and we would check over their costumes and see what they made, see what they didn't make, see what they were going to do on stage and all that. Um, and we just kind of looked over everybody. Um, we were also, I forgot to mention, day one they gave us these little goodie bags uh, that had shirts in them and they were really, really nice and it was really sweet for them to give us like little goodie bags for guesting so I really loved that and um, I wanted to tell um, the person who invited us be that that was really, really sweet and I really, really appreciated that. Um, I love when cons give little gift, ba gift baskets to their guests, like it's so sweet, Kamara Khan did it to me, and it was like so cool to get one of their pins and their mugs from their convention for guesting, and it was like wonderful. Um, anyway, so the contest, uh, all the cosplayers were really, really good, like they were really, really nice, and it was so good to see them and see how much work they put into their costumes and everything. Um, uh, the competition was a little unorganized, it was a little, you know, crazy, but like for this doing their second time having a cosplay competition, it was really nice. I love the Splatoon theme and how they dressed up as the hosts and they were um, using a script to talk, uh, like they were doing a Splatfest and that was really cool. Um, I do think that they have a lot of potential to really grow this competition to be a really good contest for their uh, their convention but um, with a little bit of advertisement a little more pushing to tell people that this is a cosplaying convention it could really go far so the way that they put everything together was really really nice and the contestants were really really nice and everybody there had such a wonderful vibe and they were also kind and like everybody worked really really hard on their um content or their uh costumes and it was really 
it was really nice. It was just really, really cool. So um, after the cosplay competition, because it was early, it was like at 1, uh, we didn't really have too much else to do. Uh, I ended up not going to any of the pool parties. I think I was just kind of a little overwhelmed, but I'm planning it. If they, if I get invited back next year, I will definitely go to a pool party then. Uh, but I was a little like exhausted, so I decided instead. I did go to the trinket trade, which I didn't know was a thing, but essentially uh, everyone brings little trinkets like pins or buttons or just random things to trade, uh, or, or like plushies or things that they just don't want, and they trade them away to other people for cool stuff. So it's like a swap meet, but you're literally just trading things. But you're literally just trading things, so we traded some stuff. Some people just wanted to get rid of the stuff that they had, so they would literally take anything that you had. And and then other people were like really adamant about getting good trades so it was actually really cool and if we do go back again I think I might put together a little trinket box to bring with me because I think that's a really wonderful idea to see like you don't always have to exchange money for things sometimes you can just trade out um, other trinkets for other trinkets and I thought it was an amazing idea and I really hope they bring that back because that was really really cool um, and then after that, I think we played phase 10 for a while at our hotel room too while we were waiting for food. And then after that, Ellie had to go. Uh, we also were in our idol Mario outfits that day, so that was really cool. Um, we got a lot of pictures and um, the potential cosplay scene for this convention is really, really nice. Like, I can't wait to see it grow. Day three! So for day three, it was an early checkout uh, because we were leaving that night. Uh, I ended up not doing any makeup because I really didn't want to have to take off all the makeup to get on the plane. Uh, I did Lammy uh, from Jammer Lammy, which is a spinoff of Parappa the Rappa. Um, and we, we had a K-pop panel that Subaru was running, and a lot of people actually showed up, which was really cool because we were actually not expecting that many people to show up to the panel, but then quite a few people showed up to the panel and we were super excited, like we were super happy about it. And so it was really cool to see everybody excited to do K-pop appreciation, and then a lot of those people stayed for the Yaoi appreciation panel, so um, or the BL appreciation panel that Subaru was running. And so that went really well. Uh, afterwards, we had a little bit of a meet and greet. Uh, I made a little bit of money. Um, not a lot of people showed up, which is fine. I didn't expect a lot of people to show up. Um, I'm not like a famous musician or anything like that. So I didn't expect a lot of people to be there. And like me and Subaru were just kind of chilling. And like um, people came up and bought my sticker. Subaru didn't bring anything to sell, um, unfortunately. But there were people who were there to just like buy and support, which was really, really nice of them because they didn't have to, but they did. Um, and, you know, I made a little bit of money, but not, not a lot. So uh, it was mostly just fun to talk to people who were like, hi, your guest, what did you do? What, how do you do, you know, and everything like that. Because um, MagWest seems to have a really nice uh, sense of community where everybody wants to see everyone succeed and everybody's just kind of happy to talk to everybody. Um, it was really, really nice and the like vibe and the aura of the area was just support and community. And that was really, really nice to be around, you know? So. MagWest overall was really, really fun. Uh, we got on the airplane that night and made it home. Um, and it was, it was just, it was really nice. It was a really nice vibe and a really nice, like, you know, um, feeling all around. Honestly, I really, really hope that MagWest is willing to bring me out again next uh, year because I think that they have so much potential to grow their cosplay community. I think they just need more of a presence, like they need to push more advertisement for cosplay. And I think the more that they push a little bit more advertisement for cosplay, the more you will get more people over. Because it's in San Jose, which is where Fanime is. So there's so many cosplayers that would probably be willing to go and hang out and compete. But I was told by a few friends that they didn't even know this was a convention that people cosplayed to. So with people not realizing that there was even a cosplay scene there, you know, I think it has a lot of potential to grow and to really like bring in the cosplay scene. And if I don't come back as a judge, I would even love to come back to help um, organize cosplay gatherings or even just pull in more cosplayers, like, like try to help with um, getting more guests or, or things like that. So um, I, I would just, obviously I need hotel and flight and things like that because that's the hardest thing about um, traveling right now. But I would really, really love for them to bring me back out as a guest. Like that would be so wonderful because MagWest was really, really fun. And I really wanted to get more involved. Um, this year I've been kind of 
slowly pushing myself into being more open. It's just hard with COVID um, still being a thing and like um, trying to see who's safe, you know, and who's not. I used to be so outgoing and then like the world exploded more and I was, it just made it really hard for me. But anyway, um, MagWest was a blast. It was really, really fun. Um, I didn't get a lot, but now is the part of the video where I show off all the little trinkets and things that I got at MagWest. So if you don't want to see that, you can skip it, but I like to show off the things that I bought. Um, so I'm going to show that to you now. Like I said, I didn't get a lot, but I kind of splurge a little bit, at least when it comes down to like stickers and stuff at every convention I go to. And the marketplace wasn't massive, so it was a little easier to kind of splurge a little bit. So first things first is, is I have a Bowsette Eda bag, and so I found this. And so this was super cute, and so I'm going to be adding it to my Eda bag. Um, they also gave us a thank you note for being guests, which is really, really nice. And it's like, thank you for being here, we appreciate you, and it was it was so cool, so I'm probably going to keep that in scrapbook it. Another artist came up to me uh, and Subaru while we were at our guesting table and they gave us these little prints because they were like, oh, I do art and, you know, we had a conversation. And it was just like really sweet of them to like sit there and talk with us and hang out with us and they just wanted to have a conversation with us. But yeah, they also, um, they also gave me this sticker. But it was a nice little conversation to have. Uh, in our little gift baskets, MagWest also gave us stickers. And so, um, I don't know where I'm gonna put these, but you know, I, I love stickers, so anytime someone gives us stickers, I'm like, oh cool, I can put these all over my sketchbooks and things like that. I, I bought a MagWest pin because I collect pins for the cons that I go to, and so I got myself this little pin. So I can't wait. I don't know where I'm going to put this, but I feel like I need to make an Eda bag of all the cons I go to. But yeah, I feel like I need to make an Eda bag of all the conventions that I've guested and, or gone to, just kind of as a cool... Look at all these places I've been! I'll see. This pin! It was a little like D&D &D table. And I bought this pin from them. I also bought these dice from them. You probably can't see them very well, but I don't want to unpackage every little individual dice right now, so I'll show them off later on TikTok. I got a lot of stickers, so give me a second. I got this sticker sheet, which is Spy Family. I mostly got the sticker sheet because my husband got a t-shirt from them, and so I really wanted to get stickers too, so he got me the stickers. I got a sticker from one of the game indie games that were um, advertising, and an uh, art sticker from one of the other tables. All the artists' work were so good and like, here's some more. Everything's just packaged so nice that I don't want to take them out until I'm like going to use them. But they were all so nice and every, like all the art was so pretty. There's some more Pokemon stickers I got. I didn't get a whole lot, like I didn't go crazy because I really didn't want to go crazy. I wanted to be careful uh, since DreamCon was coming up and I was like, I gotta make sure I have money and food for DreamCon so I can't spend too heavy here. But it was also a very small marketplace so I didn't really need to go crazy anyway. But it was really nice. Everybody there was so kind. The whole experience was was really wonderful and I, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, if you want more information about my first guesting experience, I'm probably going to make a separate video for both DreamCon and MagWest together on how those guesting experiences were. Um, but yeah, that's my vlog for MagWest. It was really, really fun. It was a really great convention. I think that if you're in the area, it'd be a really wonderful convention to visit. Um, I really can't wait to see how the cosplay experience develops there because it was so, there was so much potential for it to grow and to like manifest, but I think that it just needs to be advertised and pushed a little bit more and to let the cosplayers in the area know that this is a convention that you can come to to cosplay. And once that happens, I think the scene will explode with cosplay because music and gaming 
also incorporate cosplay. Like we have Vocaloid and Idolmaster, Utapri, and we have all of these different shows and games and things that also include music. So I think that it could really, really explode and have the potential for so much like cosplay and other events but I think it just needs to be nurtured. And once it is, it's gonna be really, really fantastic. So I'm so excited to see where it goes from here. If you like this video, like this video. If you like me, subscribe. There's a bell notification if you wanna see when I post videos and all that jazz. Um, I really appreciate you guys always being here and checking out my videos. And remember, you are loved, you are amazing, you are awesome in every way, shape, and form. And that you are you are just you're just great. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!